Alrighty guys, welcome to this drawing class. So we're going to be drawing this cat today. Um, and if you've got a cat at home, um, then maybe you can get a photo of it and do a drawing of your own cat. But today we're going to learn the skills for drawing a cat uh, by looking at this picture on here. Okay, so you'll just be able to follow along at home. All you're going to need is some paper, a pencil or two, and a rubber, an eraser. Okay, now if you've got some fancy pencils, I'm going to be using a 2B, an HB, and a 6B. Now the 6B just is really soft, so it's really good for the shading part of it. The 2B is what I sketch with, and then the HB is good, if it's really sharp, it's good for like those little um, details like whiskers and things. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off with my 2B pencil today. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to start off really nice and simple. We're going to draw some basic shapes, okay? So we want to do this really lightly so that we can um, rub it out if we need to later on, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the shape of the head, okay? So I've got kind of an oval type shape like this. That's that shape there. In the picture okay hopefully you guys can see that all right on my screen then I'm going to do just a really light line down the middle and another line along sideways through there okay so the reason I'm doing that is it helps us to line it up because the face of a cat and a person actually is pretty much symmetrical it's like the same on both sides okay and this line of the kind of eyebrows is roughly halfway between down the head. All right, now we need to work out where's the nose. The nose is pretty low. It's actually about here. And the mouth is just below that. Awesome. And then the ears are going to come up like this up here. Okay, so the ears kind of come up. We'll just do like a couple of little oval shapes for that. Maybe not. Don't do them too big. <laughs> Alright, I think I drew that one a little bit too big, so that's all good. You can just rub it out as you go along. Alright, it looks a little bit weird, like a weird sort of bunny rabbit at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, I just need to figure out where the eyes are. Okay, so if we go like this, we do like a little kind of middle part. See how that middle part of the nose comes down like this? And then the eye, remember we said the eyebrow was sort of on that line. So it sort of curves up like that. Yeah, nice. So it's just like placing those eyebrows in there. A little bit sketchy, but still pretty basic. Then we've got to just do the eye, each eye on each side. So it's kind of a curve that just sits underneath the eyebrow like that. Try and make them the same on both sides if you can. All right. Okay, so now we've got the basic shape in there. Actually, why don't we add some of the body in? So the body is sort of like a curve like this. And then up here, the body sort of comes down and around. And there's a tail that goes up like this. But we will, we'll get to the tail of it a little bit later, I think. We'll just leave that shape in there like that, coming off. Okay? Okay, so now we've got this basic shape, or basic shapes down. We need to use our rubber, and we just want to rub out some of the extra lines that we don't need. Okay? So, for example, we don't really need the middle line or the straight side line like that. And the ears, we don't really need that. Now, we'll probably rub a little bit more out as we go along. But it's helpful just to get rid of that at the moment. 